fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. Herb Ready, Dean, fight. our third man in the Ready. octagon for this one. Yeah. All right, back at the O2 Arena here in London, England. And man, are you royalty around these parts. Oh, I mean, you can barely on. make your way to the uh, octagon John, tonight, John. Jim. Oh, stop, John. Oh, stop, John. Uh -huh. Please stop. I'm in the business. OK, big. What a nasty fight, knee. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. <laughs> Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Nice body shot there. These guys throwing early. Low kick lands flush. Frantic pace early on to this one. Lee gets caught by the inside leg. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Your hands up for me. Come on now. Nice go. kick, Let's yep. Go. Now getting that left hand home to the target. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. There's his jab. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Big shot to the head. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Push kick there to the body. Oh, man, just one combination after the next, just absolutely picking him apart with this strike. I'm almost shielding my eyes at this point, John. I can't watch this guy get beat up as he has been getting beat up. He has to make a change. He has to do something different. His opponent is too free. He feels too good in there. Go and try to interrupt this. Well-placed switch kick there. Working off the jab, it's good. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, beautiful knees in the clinch here. Leg kick lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Stop waiting. Get that high kick up there. Nice display of technique by him there on the side kick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game. Beautiful placement on that flying knee. Don't back up. Leg kick. 
Right back on those leg kicks. Oh, he is hurting for certain. He went high on that one. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Lee. Waning seconds here of this opening round. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round number one. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feed, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch of the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice hook. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this, I like this approach. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Straight punch is true. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Oh, nice. Nice hook lands. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the right now to fire up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Another ground and pound strike gets home. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Under two minutes to go. Just out of range with that right hand. You 
Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Hands higher, hands higher. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Lands the lead right punch. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, nice kick. And there's a takedown attempt. This is crazy. Good jab there by the champion. 30 seconds to go in the round. Nice body shot. 30 seconds to glory, baby. 30 seconds. And he continues to work the body here. All right, there it is. Another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later? Well, I think it's I think it's all it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top of that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top. And that is exactly what this guy is doing. Oh. All right, round three coming up next. All right, sit down. Slow that breath. Relax and listen. That was perfect, okay? You're doing brilliantly. All right, let us get you some replays now from that previous round, DC, and certainly you got to think some body kicks are going to find their way into this highlight. Yeah, he's throwing these body kicks, and he's throwing with all of his force. He is driving his shin into the rib of his opponent. If his opponent does not block these, if he does not catch these kicks, his night is going to end very soon. You ready? You ready? Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice combination, yes. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Oh, man, head kick lands. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Front kick to the body is there. Nice work by Lee. Oh, nice. And there's that jab. Forward. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice punch from the clinch by Lee. Oh, a huge block there. Nice shot to the body there. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar time. Well, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Lee. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. He's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. He passes the half. Keep Keep Lee's back into full guard. Making all these shots count. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. 
Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Leaves in half guard. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired and that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grapple exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. What a fun fight between two guys that only focus on offense. Blocks that kick to the body. He's able to slip the left. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Leg kick. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Connects with a beautiful jab. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. And a crisp elbow lands. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, oh, high oh, pace. And a huge punch being landed there. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let us get you some replays after that round. And he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished yet. But if he keeps hit getting hit there, it will be. And then everything becomes very difficult. So what he's got to do is he's got to move. He's got to be smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now, but we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. And that one certainly found the target. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's caught. Good shot, good shot. Oh, nice low kick. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be 
very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Trying to kick the leg out. Tags him with the overhand. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. Nice head kick. Hook to the head there by Lee. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Keep those hands high. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Nice switch kick. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Throwing that low kick. Nice jab by Lee. No, he's hurt. He's, but look, he's a warrior. So he's going to just try to go forward and try to finish, but his leg is destroyed. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Oh, nice. Nice. Get your right hand up. Big right hook there by the champ. Nice head kick there. Nice kick. Lance a good series of kicks here. Right on the button. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Oh, was that a switch kick? It's such a beautiful technique when done the right way. 15 seconds remain in the round. Guess the single collar tie now. Round four. All right, sit down, bud. That was awesome. Great round. Another round in the books there. Everything you're throwing is landing. I want you to stay heavy with those kicks. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Got the hook in quickly. Man, how good is this? Back and forth we go. Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series of strikes as he continues to land. And a big elbow inside. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, nice hook. Now 
Outstanding kick there by Lee. Oh, man, you can hear it, bone on bone. Nice elbow land. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Man, this is fun to watch if you like striking as these fighters go back and forth. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. Finds a home for the left hand there. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Oh, nice little right hook there. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, that's big. Oh, elbow landed there. And we got a fight on our hands. Oh! Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tango tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two, and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Well, that's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Just misses with that one. Heavy kick late from the champ. Oh, big right hand, yes. Back and forth we go. Well, wisely, he continues to strike right on that cut. And the blood, I think, is becoming a real factor now. Yeah, the blood is becoming a factor, because now, you start to worry about the blood going into the mouth. The blood going into the mouth. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. All right, the Ladies official decision is now in. Here is rounds, Bruce We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles.